All right. Welcome, everybody, to Monday Expert Interview. And happy Labor Day. Hopefully, you are enjoying your family, barbecuing, having fun, and not watching Dave Cooper live. But if you are and you're like me and you're working, well, this is a good place to be because we are going to start talking about today BCMC, which is hosted by the SBCA. That's right. It's an SBCA event today. We're going to have Jess Loson in just a moment, who is the executive director. And we're going to talk about this event. I was at this event last year. And it was absolutely amazing. And I don't just say that lightly because we go to a lot of events. This event, people showed up to do business, to network, and to learn. The learning was through the roof. The networking was through the roof. And if you saw some of the videos and the interviews that we did, you'll realize that the business was happening as well. And it's no different this year. It's going to be the same way, guaranteed. It was an amazing event. And it's happening in September. That's right like next week almost, right? The 12th through the 16th uh, in Columbus, Ohio. The details are down below. Registration has closed, but that doesn't mean you can't attend. That's right. You can show up at the door. We will take a walk in. You can come on in uh, and showcase uh, what you want to see and what you want to do. And listen, we'd be happy to have you out there. It's a big event. And I think this year is even bigger than the last year. So without further ado, let's hop into it and bring Jess in. Jess Lowe's, how are you? Good. How are you doing, Dave? Yeah, I'm amazing, right? Listen, we got we got a lot of great things happening. The world's getting back to normal, um, and it kind of really got back to normal last year. The last time we were at uh, BCMC. So, why don't you just take two minutes, Jess, tell everybody a little bit about yourself, who you are, then let's hop into what this event's about. Yeah. So, I'm the executive director of SBCA, the Structural Building Components Association, a trade association for trusses, both wood and steel, roof and floor, as well as wall panels. When you think of uh, offsite construction, you should be thinking about us. We are a lot of what offsite construction, offsite framing is all about. Uh, you know, we do a number of things for our members. We are starting to endeavor into more promotion of the products, but we've had a lot of safety products, uh, a lot of documentation on how to properly install trusses, how to brace trusses, both floor and roof, as well as wall panels. So best practices is really where we you know, like to hang our hat. And one of those things that we do throughout the years, put on BCMC and really uh, bring the industry together for a week and try to, you know, one, make it fun, but two, interesting to learn about new products, networking. I mean, obviously there's a lot of things going on in the component industry. So BCMC, we feel is probably the best way to, to go about that and to, you know, learn as well as participate and see if there's new equipment out there, or, you know, maybe you need to learn a little bit more about certain pieces of equipment that you want to add to your mix or just learn about component manufacturing in general, but ECMC is the spot to do that. Yeah, I definitely, definitely agree with you that BCMC is the spot to do this. And I always like to say, you know, kind of hold the brakes in here for a second, <laughs> right? You got to put the scratch record on all of the building systems components, that manufacturers are using, no matter whether it's trusses, wall panels, modular, are all made up of pretty much, you know, the SBCA members, the BCMC members, all those parts and pieces and kits of kit of parts, machines. I mean, this is where it all is. Accurate? Yeah, that, uh, you know, it all starts somewhere. And, you know, if you think of it in a broad sense of factory built solutions to construction, you know, it's a big tent and obviously there are a lot of different ways to do it and some are more focused than others. And some, you know, whether it's full on modular or if it's, you know, wall panel or just figuring out how you combine certain elements and what can you do to drive value to ultimately to get the project built. And that's where there's a lot of different ways to do it. All of our members are different in some way, shape or form and some cross over into more volumetric and some, you know, like to keep it 2D and, okay. you know, strictly trusses, roof trusses. But, you know, that's the nice thing about the industry is everybody has a solution that they can provide and they're very reactive to whatever their customers need. Yeah. So just tell us a little bit about last year, a recap, right? It was straight out of COVID. You were one of the first events to actually happen and move forward. And from my viewpoint, it was a big, big success, uh, not only for, for the SBCA and BCMC, but I also think for the industry a, a, as a whole and all the people that really said, we got to get back to business. We have people that work for us. You know, this is great that we can finally come here and network and start getting back to it. What was your take on it? 
Yeah, it was a mix. And, you know, it's one of those kind of a build it and they will come. Well, we, we built it and they did come, which was nice to see, you know, for a lot of our manufacturers, they were deemed essential to where they never slowed down or, you know, obviously housing did what it did and material demand and all of that added a lot of challenges. So there are obviously things to talk about. But Omaha, you know, was a great city. They've, I mean, if you couldn't get a good steak in Omaha, I don't know where you're going to do that. At. There was but, good uh, steak there, was, I can tell you. Yeah, there's so many opportunities there with it. And really, it was just a matter of trying to get people together. Um, you know, we'd missed the year before, and that was, you know, really in the depths of COVID. But we didn't want to miss two years in a row, so we put it on. And we'd had a couple meetings just of our kind of our leadership and our board prior to that. So you could tell the appetite was there. It was a matter of if it was going to spread over to the entire industry or our entire member base, and it did. So it was nice to see people there. They were engaged. We did a great job of producing the show. We had a new team doing that. So there's a lot of learning as we go. And, you know, we really, you know, that's kind of the, the highlight of our year, the, you know, the one week that we really mark on the calendar and make sure we get that right and do as much as we can to ensure that happens. And we've got a great BCMC committee. It's a member, you know, driven organization. A lot of our members are engaged in that way. So the other thing about BCMC I like to think is very responsive because most of our educational sessions are given by our members. So it's a peer to peer type approach as opposed to maybe a supply side or, you know, we do have experts that come in and hire that, but ultimately it's a lot of networking and learning from each other and then seeing what the equipment is. And, you know, there's been so many different changes advances in robotics and just automation in general. I think there's a huge opportunity for our industry and, you know, for our environment to really grow that way. And, you know, BCMC aims to be a place to where people can come together and talk about those things and, you know, hopefully learn more and, you know, get some ideas on what to integrate into the future options too. Yeah, I agree. And speaking of robots, if you weren't there last year, there was a robot that would make your coffee for you and hand it to you. Honestly, yeah, that was, that was it, cool. It was kind of cool. It was super cool. Yeah. It was super cool. Um, all right. So before we jump into the agenda and who the guests, uh, you know, the keynote speakers are, uh, what is it that you wish people knew about the SBCA and BCMC that maybe you don't think a lot of people know? Yeah. You know, any trade association, any, um, you know, group, really we're here to make our members' lives easier in some way, shape or form. Obviously, there's things that we can't control and we don't have any influence over, but there are a lot that we do. And those shared pain points, you know, it's for us to listen, to hear what it is that component manufacturers or others that are, you know, whether it's a framer in the framers council or even on our supply side, what are those pain points? What are those issues? And we need to be able to hear those and then collectively draw them together and be like, aha, we need to address this. We need to go after and tackle this, help our members out, make it to where their lives are easier when they go to business and be able to help, uh, you know, whether it's a safety program or, you know, hey, the way you're specifying this isn't easy for us to do. Could we do this? You know, code challenges, any of those things really that we want to make sure that our members' lives are, are better off for participating. And we're really trying to drive member value. We've been doing that in a number of ways. And that's really been a culture shift from top down, from our leadership, from our president, executive committee, through our board to our staff. We're really trying to drive member value. And that, you know, starts with listening. So that's where, you know, if you do have an issue, if you are in the industry, even if you're not a member, you know, call me up, look, call our staff yeah. up, let us know, and we're willing to help. And that's first and foremost is let's try to help people. So last year when we were there, uh, you guys were had an app that you actually built for your members, right? I mean, this is the level that you're going to as an organization, uh, in an association, so to speak, right, for the members. So you, you collected a bunch of data and you realized, hey, this is what we can do and put our resources together to build something that's useful for all of our members. You want to talk about that for a quick second? Yeah, we're, we're calling it our digital QC, digital quality control tool. And it's a collection tool based on a tablet or, you know, you could probably run it off a phone. And that was one of the things where we had a concept of, you know, how do we make the quality control process of component manufacture better and how do we drive it into the 21st century? And it largely had been based in a paper method to where you would print out, uh, you know, certain drawings and you would overlay that on part portions of the trust. And the whole process is based on the quality concept that the plate, where it goes, how it's shifted, how it's rotated, how it's embedded is very important to the performance of that trust. And that's where this is an area to where if everybody's building better trusses, 
everybody's going to benefit as a result in the industry. So the digital QC is a tool to do that. It allows you to record the information digitally, and then you can also actually take a photograph of that joint. And the few things that it does is it allows you to track the change of quality over time to know if you're getting better or if you're getting worse. And it, things like, why are you getting worse? Is it machinery that needs to be retooled? Or is it a uh, training of certain employees? It might be the night shift is getting things off or the day shift, one particular area, the table's not performing the way they should. So it gives you real data to compare and better manage your operation. But then the other thing yeah. with actually taking the photograph of the joint, like if the plate is just wonky by like 45 degrees or just really, you know, everybody I've ever talked to thinks they build the best trusses, but still we have a few out there that aren't the best. Um, so if you've got that plate that's a little bit off, taking in a piece of paper with a dot on it and telling your, your table personnel that something's wrong, they're not going to listen to that. And they're going to say, buzz off, bozo. We need, you know, we need to get back to work. But if you show them an actual photograph, that's worth a, a thousand words, but it's probably like 10,000 to where like, oh gosh, we did mess that up or something. And then they can start having the conversation why to make sure it doesn't happen again. And that's the entire point of quality control is identifying those defects before they get into the field. And then that feedback routes back into their whole quality assurance, the quality management systems and that kind of right. stuff to where that's really just the first part of an entire quality management solution that I think as an association, we're probably going to explore that more. But right now, we're really proud to be getting that out the door tonight. Actually, at the end of day is when we are making the transition to our brand new server to where we can scale to the moon. We can be really responsive. And starting next week, it's fully out the door. And I always bury the lead on this. But if you're a member of SBC and you want to use this software, it's available to you free of charge. So that's one of the really exciting things that our leadership has done is made it accessible to where people, you know, there's no excuse at that yeah. point. It's more efficient. You're going to save time. You're going to have better records and hopefully you build better trusses as a result. Yeah. You know, being in this industry for a long time, just like yourself, Jess, you know, it wasn't until later in life I started realizing and understanding the value of our associations and everything that you do from helping us to be better, helping us with quality control. I mean, let's face it. Um, sometimes in the manufacturing process, just doing what you're talking about can make a big impact on time, delivery sequence, you know, uh, and the happiness of, of the people and team members that, that are working together. And I think that, you know, on top of that, you add in the regulations that you're always looking at and everything that you're trying to stay on top of because the rest of us are out here busy working and and busy building and manufacturing and all of those things. So I think it's super powerful for the BCMC SBCA association, right. To, to get the word out there that this is super important because you guys are making up the components of our industry and you're growing fast. So let's hop into it. BCMC. What do you think? You ready? I will be. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> yeah, no, we're we're excited about it. Our team's been working, you know, whether it's Allie, who's director of events, she works on it year round. Yeah. Um, Ashley newest, she does a tremendous job getting the word out and marketing for it. So our team's ready. They've been doing a great job. It's you know, it gets to the point of, you know, it's kind of like back to the athletic days of like, let's just get the game here and let's go out there and, you know, put the oh. Bat, ball in the basket or knock the heads or whatever you need to do. But yeah, it's time to, you know, let's get it started and get it going and have a great week. So we're, you, we're excited. About it. You guys are amazing, right? You're switching everything to a new server the week before one of the biggest shows out there. And uh, so, yeah, good for you. So, well, we hope, we hope the server uh, switch over goes well for you. Um, technology, I know for a fact can, can, can make you lose hair. Um, but I'm sure it's going to be a smooth transition. All right, here we go. So we got we got BCMC here up on the screen. Walk us through uh, what's going to happen here. September 12th through the 16th, Greater Columbus. Tell us about the venue and, and the location. Yeah, downtown Columbus, obviously, it is a university city. It's very metropolitan. I mean, everything's metropolitan compared to where I'm from. But, you know, when I was there in January, I got to spend a little extra time to get to know the city and, you know, Obviously, we want you there for the show floor, the education sessions, but there's more to it than that. You know, if you want a unique meal or a unique environment, there's so many different options within walking distance. And it doesn't really matter which way you go, but, you know, kind of that north, uh, oh, short north district is what they call it. Ton of options there that, you know, foods that I didn't even know existed. I was enjoying and getting to know and just really seeing that. But beyond that, you know, 
We're going to have great speakers. We're trying to up our game there. I think we've successfully done that. Uh, Emmett Smith is going to be our keynote. He uh, not only does he have a great football career to you know touch on, but a great business career as well. He talks about like in his book, he grew up wanting to be an architect. So it from an early age, like a lot of our attendees that either grew up in it or have had the connection to you know, building in some way, shape or form. He shares that passion. So it'll be interesting to hear him talk about that. And I'm really interested to talk about, uh, you know, professional athletes in a lot of ways do things really unique and at a level that I always aspire to and like to learn from. So like how he talks about goal setting and certain things like that, it should be a really good, you know, I think it's an hour that we get to hear from him, 40 minutes, uh, I'm yep. speaking in 20 minutes of QA. So Emmett's going to be great. And then Ali Wolf is one of the best in the business as far as delivering economic data. I mean, we can learn about what the housing starts are going to do. And, you know, people can throw numbers, but she gives it in a way that where people are going to understand it and it's going to make an impact. Right. And, you know, they not, everybody might not like what she has to say, but the way she says it is going to be very in a way that people are going to appreciate and that they're going to understand and really looking forward to her. So she's a new one that we've got this year as well. So, you know, that should be a, yeah. you know, a couple of good reasons to show up just right there with those two. No, well, I've, I've heard Allie uh, speak over the years and she's a force to be reckoned with. And you're right. I mean, she says things in a way that the rest of us can understand. And I think that's super important. A lot of time you get these economists up on stage and they're talking about the numbers and the graph charts. And I say it on just about every show. You know, you put a graph chart or a spreadsheet in front of me, I become a possum. Well, that's a lot of us in this industry, right? We're visual. We work with our hands. We love to build things. So that's what's really great about Allie. Um, do we want to hear what Evan has to say? We got it here. Why don't we listen to him? Yeah, let's see. Hello, I'm Emma Smith. Over my 15-year career as an NFL running back, I learned how important mental preparation was so I could successfully navigate the obstacles in my way. I hope you'll join me at the BCMC show September the 12th through the 16th in Columbus, Ohio, where I'll be sharing some of my favorite football lessons and business lessons as well. This event will be great. And will be, and a, will great be a great opportunity for you to immerse yourself into an environment that will, that will mentally prepare you for greater success, greater success in the future. In the future. I, look I look forward to seeing, to seeing you in Columbus, Columbus, Ohio. How cool is that? Yeah. Emmett yeah. Smith in the house. This is awesome. So that that's a big deal just by itself. I mean, having the opportunity to listen to him. And I also know, like, I've heard some stories that, I mean, he does a lot of things in his community as well. Uh, outreach program for the kids and housing from my understanding I, I i could be wrong but i believe it's true yeah you know i think he grew up in pensacola so you know he's a florida yeah. gator and then you know coincidentally i think he was a cowboys fan as a as a child so to get to play for your favorite team i mean it's cool yeah, enough to right. become a professional football player but if you get to do it at your you know new yeah. team and then uh become a hall of famer you know i think he's the right. all-time leader in yards. I mean, to be in the company of Walter Payton and, you know, I'm a 49er fan. So Frank Gore is up there. He got up there close, but nowhere near him and on his yards, but just a really cool, you know, individual, his story. I'm, I'm really looking forward to hearing more about it and, you know, being there in person to, to experience it. So that's the keynote, right? But the, but the real, but the real educations after this, and why don't we talk about, I mean, we got a pretty robust schedule here over the course of several days and it's not all business. It's not all, you know, there's golf and uh, running and biking and everything else uh, in here. So again, that's where people network and have fun, right? To kind of loosen everybody up and, and really get in the mode of let's talk, let's really make a difference in what we do every day. Um, so you know, day one, obviously, September 13th. Uh, well, I guess it's really September 11th. They're moving in. September 12th, moving in. Then there's the social event in the evening of the 12th. But the 13th is uh, when things really start, you know, the gears start rolling, right? You got Ohio Stadium Tour. Come on. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. The horseshoe there. Uh, and it, uh, you know, it's one of those things we like to add a tour. You know, the bike ride is, you know, not a lot of people, but the people that do it are really loyal and they enjoy it. And it's yeah. good camaraderie. It's, you know, just to be engaged and to not always, you know, it's easy to just socialize, but at the same time getting out there and, you know, sometimes it's really windy and they've got that shared adversity or it's a pretty ride or whatever. But right. then, you know, that new member happy hour, we're really cognizant of trying to bring our new members in and, you know, 
establishing relationships early. So if yeah. you are a new member in the last year, show up there. The industry roundtable, that's one of the most valuable things to where really networking and engaging component manufacturers, framers, all on relevant topics. So if you've got a pain point, this is the time to talk about it and to get a lot, I don't want to call it free advice, but a lot of advice for people that are, have either done it, will do it, or going through it now. And that's the best part is, you, you know, you don't have to you know, always bring somebody in to learn about it. You can learn from your peers. And that's what our industry is fragment as it is. There's a ton of opportunity there to talk about it. Um, you know, our top cord club dinner there, that's uh, to reward the people that are out driving membership to, uh, you know, We've done a great job. Our Gene, our president, set a goal of 800 members by BCMC, and I'm happy to announce we're at 802. It's a large, large part to that top cord uh, club that people that are drawn in members. So that again is awesome. And then you know, to end up Tuesday, Monaco night. It's a casino night. That's going to be at the Hilton. A great time to just have some fun and you know enjoy each other's company. So you know, that's Tuesday right. is going to be a good day. And and the following day, it's down to business, right? Registration, badge pickup, a little breakfast in the morning, and then we then we start off with the president's welcome, executive directors up to update. I'm assuming that's you and a keynote speaker. Yep, yep. You're gonna be sick of me by the end of the week, I think. Yeah. But uh, you know, that's that's part of the role is to make sure we get the message out there. But that's when Emmett's gonna speak. So I'll I'll yeah. save him as much time as he needs. Perfect. So let's get down to it, right? So we're we're dispelling the mystery behind mergers and acquisitions is is some is one of the classes addressing the cybersecurity risks of remote workers. I mean, there's a lot of really great stuff winning by growing and promoting from within up in your quality, right? We talked about this SBCA digital QC that you guys have come up with earlier. Um, Live lumber connection podcast is uh, happening as well and keeping dynamic sales environments today, successful marketing. I mean, these are all, you know, really important topics to, to be going over. And then there's, there's more even in between. Yes. Yeah, those are, you know, our premier ones that are going to be, you know, specific sessions. We've got like Margaret Whelan leading the one on the mergers and acquisitions. We figured we'd lean in on that, you know, based on just how much is happening in the industry and people can take some tips, learn some things. You know, cybersecurity is, you know, people get tired of hearing about it, but yet it keeps happening. So it's always changing. We've got some very bright people coming in from a firm we work with out of uh, Shreveport that will mm -hmm. be really interesting there. Uh, promoting from within, you almost have to nowadays to, as soon as you find a good person, you know, make sure you educate them, bring them up the right That's way. Right. Uh, Digital QC, Lumber Connection has been a great podcast for us every other week. Molly does a great job of getting the information out of a couple of lumber brokers to understand where the lumber industry or the market is going or should be going or kind of understand that. It's always nice to have that perspective because lumber is such a big part of what it is our members do and buying you know, making informed yeah. decisions is very important. So especially over the last couple of years, right? With the lumber prices going up and down, I would imagine that was a very popular podcast. Yeah, exactly. For sure. And Margaret Whelan, I've heard Margaret Whelan. I've interviewed Margaret Whelan over the years. And uh, just like Ali Wolf, I mean, dynamic speaker, uh, can say it in pr plain language. But the really <laughs> great thing about Margaret is as well is Margaret has been doing this in our industry for a long time. She knows it to the highest level. And I think that's what's really special about Margaret. So if you don't know her, just like Ali Wolf, now's your time to show up and, and listen to what they have to say because they are movers and shakers in this industry for sure. Yeah, definitely. She's yeah. she's great. Every time I get an opportunity, I try to try to listen. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Well, I mean, so there's a lot happening. What what else in, in your mind do you want to make sure that we're talking about today? So people really understand one of them. Well, you know, here I'm a, I'm asking you a question and I'm giving myself an answer. But what what is it that you would like to to, to get out there? Yeah, you know, I like, you know, all of our different events. Um, the industry celebration that we have at the end is designed. Obviously, every trade show you go to it the tenants kind of dwindles at the end. People are doing other stuff. So we tried to flip that on its head. We're going to have a DJ. We're going to be doing some games where it's a competition. We're going to be doing all of our giveaways there at that end of the mm -hmm. show. So really trying to keep people around and engaged in a fun environment. And that's even yeah. you know an opportunity for exhibitors to have those last minute conversations or to get back to that person and make sure that we're trying to keep the group together during that. And then, you know, have as much fun. I mean, it's, it's hard enough to get out of your business in the day to day, to work on your business and that's what this event hopefully allows you to do in a bigger picture way of thinking what's ahead because everybody's going through something right now and you know just taking that time to get out 
you know, of your day to day work on your business and figure out where you're going for the next year. That's what it's meant to be. And, you know, if you decide on some equipment or you learn some different techniques on education wise, there's so many opportunities there that hopefully you're able to engage and, and to make the most of it. Yeah, for sure. Um, and, and I want everybody to realize that BCMC is an event that's put on by the SBCA and the members of the SBCA. So why don't you touch on that? Because this event's been around for a long time. How long has the SBCA been around? Well, we're coming up next year and actually BCMC will probably kick it off 40 years for SBCA. It was the S wow. WTCA Wood Trust Council of America. We changed our name to be more inclusive of the products, particularly wall panels. But BCMC originally was put on by TPI and it was, you know, obviously, I think this is probably the 41st um, BCMC, um, 41st year of it. So there were a couple of years where TPI put it on before WTCA, now SBCA took it over. And it's, you know, put on by component manufacturers, for component manufacturers. Obviously, our association primarily represents mm -hmm. the, the CMs, the trust builders there. But that makes it very, you know, reactive to what the CM component manufacturer needs are. So that's one of the things when we talk to people, you know, BCMC is a, a big, large, huge project. It's got great brand identity. They just don't understand who puts it on. And, you know, those are the things that we're trying to educate a little bit more. I think we'll do that with some of our branding coming up. But as we celebrate 40 years, look back a little bit, talk about our history, but then also look ahead to hopefully another 40 years and where BCMC brings that in. We're going to try to tie them together a little bit better. But yeah, that's uh, it's the SBCA staff, the BCMC committee, which is SBCA members. Those are the primary drivers of of the the show, and we're you know really happy to have as many people involved. A lot of volunteer hours, a lot of people that really deeply care about not only the the BCMC show but the association. We're lucky to have right. great involvement. Yeah, you do have great involvement. We run into them across the country when we're traveling all over the place. So, Jess, I'm looking forward to this. I'm going to be there all week on location uh, with you guys and hopefully running around doing some interviews. And And for those of you who can't make it, uh, make sure you tune in so you can see what's going on, what you're missing. So next year, if you're not going to be able to attend this year, you guys can show up. Jess, did I miss anything that you want to put out there before we wrap up? I think that's about it. You know, I think we're going to have some great weather well, a little bit earlier than what we normally are. Normally it's October, but yeah. September should be good. It's going to be a game weekend in Columbus, Ohio. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out. But uh, overall, it should be a great week. Really looking forward to it. And, you know, we're aiming to make yeah. this our best show yet. Yeah, we are, we are as well. Well, there you have it, everybody. Jess Los, Executive Director. BCMC is coming up in just a week and a half, the 12th through the 16th in Columbus, Ohio. You cannot register online, but you can show up at the door, and they'll make sure that you get a pass. So come on out and join us. There's still opportunity to take part in the learning, the fun, uh, and the networking, which is oh, oh, so important for our industry to grow and keep growing. Jess, you have a wonderful Labor Day weekend. I hope uh, – I hope it was great for you. And for those of you out there, I hope you're enjoying Labor Day. Now put the computer away. Go out there, enjoy your families, and we'll see you, uh, we'll see you I guess, Wednesday. So, all right. Just stay right there. Everybody else, have a great one. We'll talk to you soon. Bye now.